The Helmet Mask Warthog is a beautiful work that embodies Mosi culture entirely. The mask is a prime example of a zazito, a ritual mask. The color and geometric style of the paint just encaptivates the eyes. The black and white contrast to fill the space of the mask, this in combination with the red and brown of the wood, creates a back and forth that keeps the eyes captivated and moving up and down the mask as few objects do. When one transitions from the wood of the mask, the body of it, to the fibers, one feels how the mask engulfs the person that wears it, creating a full transcendence from human to animal. This transition from human to animal was at the heart of the Tengabisi ritual. In transforming into something so natural as this animal, as a warthog, one can see how those that participated in the ritual felt one with nature and the gods. The unification of human and na nature spirit in one person celebrated through a dance calling for good rains and for generous crops. The fibers engulf the, engulf the person celebrating and dancing and leads to a full transformation. This connection with nature is one that has been lost by our society that has been replaced by an engulfed spirit of consumerism and ignoring the world we need on, we live on, the world that we need to protect. Seeing this item and breathing the same air as it does makes one reflect on, the, on this lost value towards nature that our society has taken. It takes us back to the roots of our humanity, but at the same time lets us transcend that root, transcend us now and move forward and see how we can move forward. The helmet mask fills one with a wide range of emotions, with sadness for the values that we've lost, but also joy. Joy in that we can go back and cherish our connection with nature, not through the same celebration as the Mosi did, but celebrate in our own ways and seeing how we can apply the values of this mask to ourselves. Thank you for your time and hope you can all reflect on items such as I did on the on this helmet mask. Thank you again.